Okay, so first is the plant, second part is the type of view that's around here, and the third part is the flavor. So as you know that we have many types of pepper all around the world and they come from many types of country. But the reason why it's a bit more special because first step the way that how we take care about them, everything that we're doing here it's all organic. There's no chemical. Second part about them is about the flavor. Some of the pepper they have a big outfit. It's the same size like we we'll are having here, but about the flavor and the total testing part, it's way different between the natural one and the one that we use with chemical. So, Jabriyapu, Mr. Kip Tien, and uh, thank you so much for the opportunity in this uh, La Plantation uh, agro-tourism site in Kampot. So, so, we are standing here inside um, one of the big, uh, you know, pepper plantation in Kampot and uh, it's quite a sunny day, sir. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, b before I begin, uh, because uh, Kampot pepper is a very well-known product, ag agricultural product, you know, let's say around the world. Uh, you know, it has uh, rec been recognized by international uh, association. Yep. So, the simple question is that what character? I mean, what kind of characteristics that make compote pepper one of the best pepper pepper in the world? Bon? Okay. So this part here, the reason why about their flavor, we have a, a good nature herb. So. First, it's from the good nature herb. Second part, it's the way how we do about the, uh, here, the way how we grow them and the way how we take care of them. You, you mentioned the nature herb. What, what is that, Bong? Can you get, elaborate more on that? Okay, so the nature herb is coming from the pollinates of the ocean winds that's mixed with sea salt and blow by the winds all the way from to here to mm. making the flower of the pepper and also to helping for the taste. That's the first one. And the second one is well, it's about mountain dirt. Mountain dirt, they have more fertilizer and more clay dirt than the normal dirt. Especially as well the way how we take them here that we grow them like a hills because during the mm. rainy season it's quite uh, holding the water if we grow the pepper cones like the flat ground they will get flood they will kill the roots of the pepper and also all the flavor and all the testing parts are going to be changing so i mean uh, to summarize a bit because uh, the terrain of Kampot is also pleasant for the pepper plantation so the mountainous region the salt and also um the way that you know the, the earth hold the nutrient all makes the pepper very very tasty here. Bon. Uh, one more thing, bon. uh, not only pepper is being raised here, but you know I also see um, many many uh, you know foreign tourists coming here. So what 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 do they do here? Like they only come to see the pepper plantation, or they also or you also provide you know them with other different uh, services here, bon. Okay, so first step as well, uh, as you know, there's camp or peppercorn is quite worldwide all around the world and many countries know about them. Especially as well, a lot of our clients that come into here, they know about pepper, they know what type of pepper, but the reason why mostly that's the pepper that we export outside Cambodia lots, they only find the black pepper and the red pepper. Mm. Uh, the white, I mean the white. But normally they don't know how many type of pepper that we have. And so this is a good one that's they coming here and so find a lot of uh, information and we provide a free tool for them, uh, free testing and so we give a good advice. So is there any uh, specific, you know, emotion or feeling like, you know, when, when they come here, like, do they feel anything like special about the pepper? Like, oh, uh, you know, because there are also pepper in other places in the world. But when they come here, is there anything that attract their, their emotion? the most bon. Okay, so first it's the plant, mm -hmm. second part is the type of view that's around here, and the third part is the flavor. Mm. So as you know that we have many types of pepper all around the world and they come from many types of country. But the reason why it's a bit more special because first step the way that how we take care about them, everything that we're doing here it's all organic. There's no chemical. Mm -hmm. Second part about them is about the flavor. Some of the pepper they have a big outfit. It's the same size like we're having here, but about the flavor and the total testing part, it's way different between the natural one and the one that we use with chemical. Uh, yes, well, a bit subjective, of, of course, because the taste, I mean, you can only explain, you know, it's, it's not easy to tell other how, how it tastes. But, you know, comparing the, the, the one, you know, that is induced with chemical and the natural one, uh, like, you know, if, if you were to try, like, how different it is, like, the, so, the taste, the, 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 you know, the heat, yeah. something like that. So first we can know about their outfit. 
So normally the standard size for camp pot paper cones have to be four millimeters or bigger than that. Mm. So the more they are the bigger seeds, the more they are bigger size, they have strong smell and strong spicy flavor inside them. So first you can tell about the smell because the one that's a bit more natural, they have amazing flavor coming out and also the aroma smell. And moving on to the spice, the taste, there's quite more uh, 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 between conflicts about the flavor between sweet and also a strong taste but the one that's instead of they using chemical it's the same size as well for the size it's easy to take care of them but uh, between the smell and the flavor it's different it's quite flat it's quite low so you don't taste much about the strong flavor of pepper mm, yes well. but uh, how about the nutritional let's say benefit of pepper like you know when you consume it you know on the uh, right amount how does it help our body? Well, so first, the compote pepper, it's just not uh, uh, even compote pepper, but we have two types, the long pepper as well. It does not give you a spicy flavor, but it's very so good for your health benefits. Mm. So first, it's making our blood temperature running well, to cut the fat in the veins, and especially as well, it's good for the heart and also for the brain. But you have to eat it the same, it's just like not too much, because too much food, uh, too much for them is not really good as well for, for our body. But as, as uh, I was informed, Bong, uh, you said pepper is not native to Cambodia. Yes. So where did it come from then and, and who, who brought it here? Okay, so Kampar peppercorns, it's uh, coming from... Uh, this Kampar peppercorn as well, it's coming from color of India. Uh, uh, India? Yeah, coming from India and oh. then for the uh, long peppers coming from Indonesia. Okay. So the reason why they can grow them here because during the French protection in Cambodia, they take this pepper to grow inside Cambodia. Afterward, mm. they export us to Cambodia. So since that time, peppercorns, it's already export like more than 70 countries already. But moving on to now, it's exporting more than 70 countries already. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this uh, plantation bowl, like um, how big is it? And you know, what is the production size per year, let's say? Okay, so here that we have uh, 50 hectares of the land total, but for growing peppercorns, we only have 20 hectares of pepper. Uh, for, I mean the land. But moving on to the 30 hectares more, we have some root spice and tea flower. That's everything. It's our uh, Cambodia's product. And then we make, grow them, we make them become product, and then we export us to Cambodia. Also, we have uh, association buildings. Yes, well. And uh, because I think pepper is, does not only come in, in, in one type. There are three types, I think, like the red one, the black one, uh, the white one. How, how different are they and, and uh, what I mean, wh why they are different uh, in, in their fundamental sense, let's say. Okay, so normally for the moment we have five types. Five types? Yep, so we have uh, green dehydrate pepper, mm. we have the black pepper, we have the uh, red, mm -hmm. we have the white, and also we have the salted. Okay. So talking about this four of these five types of pepper, it's the same plants where it's the pepper coming from, but it's just like a different type of uh, color the way that we harvest things. Because when we're doing harvest pepper, we split them into two seasons between the winter time and the summer time. During the summer time, we get the two color between the ripe and the green. But during the winter time, we only get one color. Uh, the winter time, you mean the rainy season in Cambodia? Yes. Okay. So starting from September all the way to January, that we harvest the fresh green pepper. That's mm. normally we can use them for four types after we harvest them. So first, we can sell it to the local markets. That's normally uh, in Cambodia they using to doing stir fry foods with seafood something, and so we can use them to making with cocktail drinks. Cocktail uh, drinks. Yes, mm. we have some okay. cocktails that we uh, doing with uh, uh, fresh pepper and second one we make them become dehydrated pepper mm. because after we harvest them this fresh, green, uh, this fresh green pepper it's quite keeping very short time between one week to ten days because after we harvest them they release the oil come from inside so when they touch by the nature winds like this it's cold wind and also either either in the uh, fridge in the in the coming the cold from the fridge they also change the pepper become black because after we harvest them, we leave it outside a long time, they release the oil coming from inside. So that's oil, when they cut, when they touch by the cold winds, they change the pepper, become black, and you lose everything, the smell, the taste, and the flavor. So if you could tell uh, us a bit like, um, what kind of Cambodian food that works very good with pepper, you know, it produces the best taste? So normally, uh, it depends the way how we like to cook with them. Okay. So normally for the fresh pepper, that's go with type of cocktail, that's go with type of dessert, or type mm. of like strong, like stir fry. But normally for talking about the black pepper and the red pepper, this two type pepper, it's almost using the same. Let's go with strong example like steak or lamb chops or tea bones or seafood or type of any salad or type of any like uh, green meat. It's just like between these two type pepper, the black one, it's a bit we call the burning spice. They're a bit more spicy. 
because they're coming from the green. But moving on to the red pepper, they are a bit less spicy. They you have their two flavors between sweet and spicy. Mm. Because this one over here is coming from the ripe one. So when the pepper becoming ripe, that's their uh, spicy flavor dropping down, but the sweet flavor is going up. So it's opposite. So that's the reason why black pepper is a bit more spicy because they're coming from the green. Yes, Bong. And uh, La Plantation uh, is uh, a very big investment as I see it. So can you tell us a bit like about the background of it? Like when was it created and you know, what, what was the goal? of the, the La Plantation. Okay, so La Plantation, we opened in uh, 2013, and the owner is the couple of French and Belgian, Mr. Guy and Madame Nathalie. Mm. And also the purpose that we are doing this part here, because we want to create like a, a every type of in Cambodia, and then we're making become products, and then we export as a Cambodia, instead of bringing from outside to making in, in, in Cambodia. So how many countries uh, do you export to outside? So on the 13th century French protections, it's 60 countries already, but moving on to now, it's 70 countries, more than 70 countries, that we have a big main office in France and also in Europe, that we're doing, uh, uh, we provide uh, 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 purchasing online. Mm. Yes, bon. And also, Bong, I mean, after the pandemic, I mean, do you receive uh, foreign tourists on a daily basis? Like, uh, you know, how many, how many of them are coming to, to visit your plantation, Bong? Uh, during that time, uh, we were quite uh, quiet because during the pandemics, uh, just like the COVID is just like popping up. So you have to be, uh, take care of yourself, have to be, be careful. So normally we don't have tourism that's coming. But for the moment, it's quite quiet and also uh, we have a lot. So during per day, sometimes we have between almost 300 and sometimes more than 200, over 300. 300 foreign tourists yeah, per, per day. Per yeah, per days. And how about local, Bong? Like many local coming here? Uh, normally during the uh, uh, holidays, yeah, we have mm. a lot. The people is coming from Phnom Penh or around here. They're coming to relax things and also join the tours and find some more about uh, information about pepper. Yes, Bong. Maybe the last question, just a bit about the process of how pepper is planted and, you know, processed. So from the very start, let's say, you know, from the time that we put the seed in the soil and then, you know, until the time that the tree bear its own seed for selling. How long is that, Bong? So normally, uh, we grow them, example, we grow them on the first year, but we harvest them on the fourth year. The fourth year. Yeah, because during the third year, we cannot harvest them. Why, Bong? The reason why, because camp popcorn, they grow quite slow, very, very slow. Because to be mentioned per month, they only uh, grow like two inches. Inches per yeah, month? Yeah, two inches like this. Second part about them, uh, the, they don't have enough spicy flavor. They have as well, but this is the one that's a very low spice. So they, they do bear fruit? Yeah. But the fruit is not that strong for... Yeah, for it's not a strong thing. flavor because that we focus on the uh, natural uh, uh, flavor. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a since the first year, of course, when they are young, they quite making fruits, but it's not a lot, a lot like right now. And so the flavor, we still cannot use about them. Mm -hmm. And the third part, we want them to grow faster and then to the top of four meters height. This is the way how we grow them to give, uh, to give us plenty of fruits in the future. So during the fourth year, yes, uh, it is, it, they bear fruit. So you will, you know, dry them, something like that? So after moving on to the fourth year, we can start to harvest them. Oh, so we split okay. them into two seasons, the way how we harvest them. So one during the rainy season, second one during on the summertime. It's also we get the two difference about the color because during the rainy season, we get a lot of the green pepper. Mm -hmm. But during the summertime, we get the ripe and the green. Mm. And so this red, this red pepper is well that we harvest them and then we make them become the white pepper and the red pepper. So it's quite a journey and you know, I mean, after they can bear fruit like uh, normally, how many years can you harvest them? I mean, until they get old, let's say. Okay, so if we're talking about per post, that we can harvest them for 20 years. 20 years? So, yes, yeah, 20 wow. years, but talking about them, this pepper, they quite have a long life to live. Mm. But the reason why we just mentioned for 20 years, because each year's peppercorn always produce us a lot, a lot of peppercorns. But moving on to the one that's close to 20 years or 20 years old, they're quite tired, they're quite old, so they will produce less fruits, so we can cut them down to grow the new one. So per, per plant, bong, like, uh, you know, when they are matured, like per tree, how many pepper can, can they create per year? 
like like the one that is not dried, of course. So normally we're talking about them when we harvest the pepper, we don't harvest them all because oh. we have our standard si uh, size that we have to harvest them. They have to be uh, between four millimeters or bigger than that. So when we harvest them in one time, sometimes we get between like uh, one and a half kilo or two kilo per, but, per tree. Yeah, yeah. Per, per per tree. But we were talking about them. We have uh, uh, the one that I uh, grow happy life. Sometimes we get two to three kilo per mm -hmm. one time, not per year, per one time. Per one but time. when we harvest them during the, starting from September to January, that we harvest them on rainy seasons. So in one area or in one tree, we can harvest them between three to four times. And then moving on to the summer times, that we can harvest them between two or three more. So per year, we can harvest them between uh, seven to eight times per year. Mm -hmm. But yes, Bong, and in Cambodia, is the pepper you know, production enough for the market demand? So uh, actually, uh, we have uh, another 200 family more. It's behind us that we're working together. Mm. So it's like uh, we're helping for the marketing. At our place here, we're only producing 30 tons per year that we're providing here. 30 tons? Yeah, 30 yeah. tons per year. And then the one that we export our second body, 100 tons. This is the one that we're including with the family that's uh, working together with us. Mm, yes, Bong. So you don't only work alone, but you also involve the local people and then sustain their livelihood also. Yep, yep. But they also need to follow strict standards yep. to, to make it work. Yeah, we have, they have to be follow our standards here. That's first of all, have to be in campot area or cap. Mm. The second one, everything has to be uh, organic. Organic. Okay, Bong, such an informative uh, information about Pepper and Kampot province, Bong. So um, thank you so much for the interview, Bong. And please uh, have a pleasant day, Bong. You too. Thank you. Thank you.